invited to The View to talk about my new book, Liars, Leakers, and Liberals, The Case Against the Anti-Trump Conspiracy. And, you know, my uh, the, the publisher said, do you want to go to The View? I said, of course I'll go to The View. I like Whoopi. I, really, I like them. I, mean, I have no problem talking about my book. So I go there. And, uh, you know, the first segment was relatively calm. And, you know, I got the transcript. And one of the things I said was, um, uh, one of the things we need now, we need people to talk to people who ostensibly hate each other. It's time we sat down and had a conversation and Whoopi, you know, interrupted and said, now? Oh, I'm so glad. But anyway, that was almost prescient. Uh, the second segment, after some small talk, I mean, we had, you know, I was making small talk. I was, you know, happy uh, to discuss book. You're my guest. book. Right? And then we came back and it was, you know, no holds barred. Uh, Whoopi got angry and what, what the viewing audience, the television audience didn't see is that they, they popped up the cover of my book book as she pushed off the desk, you know, unplugged her uh, uh, her mic, and then stormed off the set. So I'm there saying, you know, I'm in television. I said, I don't think the segment's over, but I think she just left, Janine. I think it's over. So I take off my own mic, and then I, you have to go down the stairs. Mm -hmm. I go down the stairs, and she's right there. And I said something like, Whoopi, you know, I've spent my whole life fighting for victims, because we had talked about rapes and all that. And she said to me, as she, she got up in my face and I read somewhere someone said well she you should have kept walking I couldn't walk by her she was at the bottom of the stairs she says F you F you and then I, I said did you just say F you and then she said get that F out of this building, get the F out of this building. So I'm there and I'm like, uh, okay. And you didn't do anything to provoke anybody there? No, you can ask the people that I was with. I mean, she she was nuts going off the uh, uh, the set. And then when I walked down, and so as I started walking out the building, so this woman is yelling behind me, get the F out of this building. I mean, look, I, I've, I've been a prosecutor, judge DA for 30 years. I try murder cases. I can go toe to toe with anybody. But that was abuse. And it was sad. It was a sad moment that, you know, she was triggered. And I never did, understood did she, triggering. Did she reach out to you afterwards and apologize? I know she apologized to the audience. She apologized to the audience, not for what she did to me. And they had no idea what happened when I walked off this you set. You haven't heard from anyone from uh, Yeah, no. A producer called. And yesterday, I was, it was nonstop radio and television. I was promoting the book. I haven't had a chance to return the call. But the producer did call. You know, so, I mean, what is this just did they hate the president so much that you were the person you you've been a supporter of him? So they're coming at you. Well, you know, I certainly think that may be it. And, you know, I tried to answer the question just yeah. like you would answer the questions. And I said, you know, it's another audience. It's the ability to at least talk about some of the good things that the president has done and the problems that I talk about in liars, leakers and liberals, which is the corruption at the highest levels right. of the Department of Justice and the FBI. And I have hundreds of footnotes in my book book. Uh, it's an easy read. I mean, don't get scared by the footnote comment. But, you know, I make it a clear, uh, you know, it's clear what happened. Read the book. They didn't want to know. I, I got a question for you. Uh, they're watching this over at ABC right now. If you were to look into camera one, what would you say to Whoopi Goldberg right now? You know, I guess I would say to Whoopi, you know, I, I've always liked you, Whoopi, and, and I don't understand where the anger comes from. I went to have a conversation, and I wasn't allowed to have a conversation, and I didn't deserve to be thrown out. I really, I, 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 we, we can't treat people like that. You just can't. We can disagree, but we need to be able to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Judge, have you ever thrown anyone off your set? No. <laughs> when you ask someone to come on as a guest, I feel like you owe them the common courtesy because a book mm -hmm. tour is hard. You're going from place to place to place <laughs> and no. you're trying to speak to their audiences and you're saying yes to invitations and you have to make choices as to what shows you're going to go on. And for them to treat you that way, you're my family. I'm sorry that you were treated that way. Well, and I think as a guest in someone's home, that's just what the it wrong is. way to treat someone. Yeah. It's not fair. Yeah. You're invited into their home mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, to be thrown off like that was really, it was disheartening. Mm. America is better than this. America is the place where you have free speech. It, but what happened yesterday was a microcosm of what's happening yes. in the nation. Yes. And shut down and shut down. Yeah, we don't want to hear from you. Yep. All right. Well, uh, once again, the book brand new. It's what everybody's talking about. Leakers, liars and liberals. Judge liars, me. leakers and liberals. Leakers, liars and liars, leakers and liberals. <laughs> liars, <laughs> liars, <laughs> liars, <laughs> liars, <laughs> liars <laughs> on the card. It is wrong on the card. It is wrong on the card. Not your
wonderful. All right. Uh, all thank right. You. Thank you. Thank you Congratulations so much. on the book. Thank I'm sure you. it's going to do even better now. Well, <laughs> thank you. Everyone go buy it. Have you here, Chris? Yeah, that didn't sit thank so you. well with you, did it? No, no, it's completely disrespectful. I, they've already dishonored they being Hillary Clinton and, and those people that follow follow her and support her as far as disrespecting the family members of my teammates. And that's just, you know, that's just another jab in the eye. It, it, it is extremely, uh, uh, it, again, disrespectful. I can't think of a better word than that. It just is terrible. What about hypocritical? In other words, she's talking about uh, how awful it is that the president might send an ambassador to Russia. And you're saying, yeah. hey, it was pretty awful that you didn't look out for us in Benghazi. Oh, it's not even awful. I would say murderous. Uh, we we had the assets available, and uh, she's the one that set them down, that didn't let them to come to us. And I believe the, the assets that were available in the area would have saved uh, Tyrone Woods and, and Glenn Doherty, my two teammates' lives. Uh, it, it's an elitist attitude that we're seeing, and you see it with Comey, you see it with Brennan, you see it with Clapper, that they feel like they've done nothing wrong, ever. And it's it's just mind boggling, and have it, they just, ever it just really it, it have pisses me off. Have they ever said sorry? Have have no. they given you a personal explanation for anything? No, none at all. And a lot of it would have been too. And I I even said this to him behind closed doors. As far as my CIA leadership, if you would have just apologized to us, I'd have gone away. I'd have kept deploying. This never would have gone on. But you couldn't even have a, just just apologized for your failures. And again, it's it's that attitude like Hillary Clinton's that. That, that is just disgusting people, and, and that's why we're supporting Donald Trump. That's why people want a non-politician in the White House. When you think about how he's approaching international situations, and, and don't forget he's taken a lot of heat for his comments there in Helsinki, um, how is it that you, you feel he's, he's very different than, than anything else you've seen before? I mean, you say you support him, and yet there are yeah. many members of the military even who were very frustrated that he didn't jump to defend um, his own people, his own intelligence people. How do you reconcile all that right now? You, you know, when you're the intelligence community and you've got guys like Brennan in there, you've got guys like Clapper that are spying on a presidential candidate, they're spying on an American, they even, uh, they even tried to justify the story of it being a video of our attack. They didn't support us. We were all fired. I don't see how I can be mad at real Donald Trump. I can't, I can't be mad at Donald Trump for the agency that didn't even stand by us when we saved their people's lives. So uh, it, it, it's, again, it's one of those things where I think he's calling it how it is. He's being a real person. He's not being politically correct. I don't want somebody politically correct. I want somebody that's going to say the truth in there and not continue to, to continually lie. I, and that's what I saw in the past administration. That's what I saw with Hillary Clinton. And then again, of course, that night when we came back, it was lie after lie after lie, which caused us to come forward and tell the truth. Yeah, no, you got a lot of lies fed to you. And I, 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 I can't imagine how that feels knowing what you risked, knowing that, you know, some dear friends of you will never be here again because of mistakes our government made. And again, these were mistakes that, you know, frankly, could have been handled far more easily. Uh, and they, they could have been avoided. And, and to be yeah, honest, hey, guys died during that. Yeah. Um, so much has been made uh, of the meeting that went on between Vladimir Putin and President Trump. Now we are just a couple days past it. And, and in Russia, they broadcast videos on Thursday that display you know, the latest batch of missile tests that were going on this week. What do you make of that? I think that there's a lot of signaling that's going on.